Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on the video. I have another trapping video for you, or preseason kind of a thing. If you don't have a catch pole like this, I just threw together something that might help you release an animal that's an incidental catch on your trap line. If you don't have something like this, this is a catch pole for those of you that don't know. I haven't used one yet. I could have used one a few years ago on a badger that I caught. <laughs> That was that was a little hairy, but stick around and I'll show you what I made.
you've all seen there you are you all have seen shields like this I'm gonna call it a, a catch and release shield you've seen this on numerous videos I'm sure on an animal that has been caught put this little notch right here over the leg of the animal so you're able to release the trap and release the animal I took it one step further I put handles on it which I'm sure a lot of people put handles on but what I did as you saw as I was assembling it I put hinges on it so you can fold it away and tuck it away in your truck van Jeep whatever your vehicle is possibly a four-wheeler your side-by-side -side. I don't know how much room you would need for this for your four-wheeler but how I thought this out didn't really work out too well because I thought the handles oh, sliver the, the handles create that gap in my mind for some reason I thought it would sit flat, but obviously not. You have a sliver in my finger. That's not cool. Yeah, it's in there. But, uh, yeah, if you don't have the means to use a catch pole, you can always find a scrap piece of plywood. This is a piece of three-quarter inch plywood that I use to make a workbench here at my, in my garage. I got it from work. They were going to throw it out, so I brought it home and the hinges i just use regular old i'll call them barn hinges the triangular ones and i put two handles maybe i'll just i think i'll leave the handles there that way if they're right across from each other in the same distance apart they're going to end up hitting each other so this that's what i did it's a foldable collapsible catch and release shield that's a that's a mouthful but the cool thing too is with the with it being hinged if need be you can you can walk up to the animal using the handles and if you need to get something or instead of using your head while you're trying to release the animal you can turn it like this and it'll pretty much stand by itself granted I thought about putting like a a kickstand <laughs> on my side and holding it like this but unless I come up with a different way of making an angle on there to where it would sit like this on an angle and hold it there but I'm not going to over engineer this hodgepodge catch and release shield so I hope this video serves you well hope it gave gave you an idea and I hope you if you even like this video hit that subscribe button right over here I think it's right over here left side yeah or your right side i don't know i'm backwards when it comes to the camera thing but hit the subscribe button like and leave a comment what you think and i think it'll work out till next time see you in the next video and enjoy the little things huh well got the sliver out cut my finger on a food processor processing blade yesterday not good <laughs>